Student athletes here at USF and really around the country are faced with kind of wearing multiple hats throughout their day. Um, so oftentimes when I get here in the morning, uh, you know, we start at eight o'clock and students will oftentimes already be either finishing a practice or on their way to their practice. Early mornings are common and late night studying are obviously the, the best way to go when your time's limited. Um, football, um, it's a year-round sport, so when it comes to training, it's year-round. Several of my children went off to college and, and, and played sports, and they really they didn't work enough because they were working on their tennis and their swimming and their basketball, um, and so they, they really never participated in real life. It would have been a good program for them, uh, I think. Actually, about probably three years ago, we started talking about what we might be able to do over at USF to uh, fill the void with uh, with Leroy not being around. And really, it, it, the whole thing was basically some coaches were talking about it that since Leroy had passed away, that we needed to do something for the student athletes because he was really good with the student athletes. I think the biggest thing for me is that I want student athletes to feel, and whether they're involved with the Selma Mentoring Institute or not, I want them to know that we're here for them and that they have a support structure and that if anything's going on in their life and they need help career-wise, you know, leadership development-wise. And by the way, it's not an automatic thing. You don't just get into the program. You have to apply for the program. Students that wanted to, uh, or had interest in a certain type of field, might be able to get with a, like I said, a local person that's in that field. You know, coming in as a freshman, you, you don't really think about the long term. And as time went on and, and this end of my sophomore year uh, came up, I was like, well, what about, you know, two years from now? You know, I'm halfway through, but then what's the next step? I had that plan, you know, for the most part, and not necessarily knowing how I was going to get there, but having, you know, an end goal. And the Selman Institute allowed me to, you know, piece things together and allowed me to meet the right people and for them to give me the right information. Leroy, uh, uh, I had the pleasure of meeting him a few times, and uh, he's just one of those people when you shake his hand, uh, you just immediately feel the warmth and the, and the, and the just the, the, the realness of the person, uh, an incredible, incredible man. And you can kind of see like traces and characteristics of things that he believes in that, you know, correspond with, you know, what, what Leroy wanted. And I feel like he's doing a great job of serving the duties of, you know, of the image of Leroy Summon and what he believes in. Uh, Greg has been able to intertwine, uh, you know, the, the things that uh, made Leroy a great person. Obviously far more to life than competing uh, on the playing field and that when you leave USF in this particular case, you need to leave with more than, than obviously a sports you know, history uh, and, and, and even more than a degree. Uh, you need to be prepared for life. Yeah, Leroy Selman's character really resonated with me and he was able to affect me you know, personally without me actually knowing him. So his character when it came to his integrity and self-control and you know his kindness and his awareness of you know things that needed help um, those are things that I want to apply to my life and to my the communities that I've, I'm able to affect in the future. Man I think that really Eric Lee um, could almost write his own history book. Here's the first drive of the night for Cincinnati and two USF seniors converge on the sack and the strip Eric Lee and Jamie Bird come up with a turnover. I wanted to you know own my own restaurant but also majoring in an IT degree and those are you know they can be utilized together but I really wanted to explore um, the culinary aspect of things. And he came in, he's very well spoken, uh, very professional, but it was it was very interesting to see his growth through the program. Uh, I think he really hit his stride when he was meeting with Sam and really just getting out there and seeing what it is to have a life in kind of the restaurant and food industry. Sam, he holds characteristics that I could you know, apply to my life and to my professional setting. Um, you know, a business is a business, but it's what you bring to it. A sincere, uh, warm guy. I couldn't think of a better candidate to be involved in, in Leroy's program than, than Eric Lee. But I think the real growth was when he got to go out and practically experience what life is like 
in the industry he wants to get into. His, his work ethic combined with his, his character really is what is going to set him kind of on top of the rest I think and, and give him a real advantage when he gets out into the working world. Leroy Selman part of this is, is critical. Hopefully it'll go on for forever. Always keep your priorities in line. Uh, be honest with yourself, knowing that whatever the goals that you have set, uh, believe in yourself that you can get those done. Obviously, school is very important, no matter what those goals may be. Uh, there are some basic learning tools and skills that you need to develop. Work very hard on those. Be successful because those are the keys that's going to open your next doors of opportunity.